going to do today is we're going to do the electrolysis of a solution of potassium iodide. Now you'll remember earlier we did the electrolysis of water. Now the only species in the solution was water. It was oxidized and reduced. Now all of a sudden we have an option. We've got water, potassium ions, and iodine ions. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on, but just before we do, let's figure out which two reactions are occurring. Now using your table of standard reduction potentials, what we do is we take it and we say, hey, wait a minute, what is the lowest oxidation reaction that can occur? Now remember, oxidation reactions occur and we have to look for them on the right hand side of the table. So we look for it and we notice that the lowest is the I minus. Now I minus is going to be oxidized to I2, solid. Now remember, iodine solid is a brown color. So we should be able to see something brown here. Now, if we look at the reduction reaction, we find the highest on the left. Well, we notice, wait a minute, potassium is way towards the bottom. It's not the highest. So it's not going to be reduced. But what is going to be reduced is water. Water is going to be reduced into hydrogen gas. We should also see a little bit of bubbles forming and it forms the hydroxide ion. Now to test for that, we're going to add a couple of drops of phenolphthalein because we know that phenolphthalein in the presence of a base turns pink. So ready? Here we go. Let's do it. So what we'll do is we'll turn the power on, which is on, and we're going to slowly start adding some voltage. Now almost immediately you'll notice the yellow color of iodine being produced, the yellow-brown color. We'll zoom in on that and just take a look at that. Look at that. Wow right away. You notice the brown color of the iodine. Well, what happens is as the solid produced, it's dissolved. Man, that's awesome. What we're going to do is we're going to add some phenolphthalein to the other side. Now remember, we said that hydrogen gas is produced. Let's zoom in and take a look. Well, sure enough, look at the bubbles. We've got hydrogen gas being produced. Now, if we are also correct, the solution should go pink when I add phenolphthalein. Now, let's just drop it right in there. Look at that. Hey, isn't science awesome? Now, if somebody ever tells you that chemistry does not rock, you're definitely going to prove them wrong. Like, look at that. We've got a streaming river of iodine being produced. We've got hydrogen gas. We've got the OH minus ion being produced. Folks, this is the electrolysis of Ki. Remember that it's not molten. It's the aqueous electrolysis of potassium iodide. And that's why we're producing iodine solid and hydrogen gas over here, which is a basic solution. This stuff is awesome.